Double Pump is one of the most sophisticated arthroscopy pumps on the market. By controlling both inflow and outflow, Double Pump regulates both pressure and flow. Through a unique function called Smart Vision, it optimizes visibility during the procedure. Double Pump can operate in two different modes. Single mode or Double Pump mode, where both in and outflow is controlled by the pump. Double Pump uses two types of cassettes. Double Pump Day Cassette controls the inflow and can be used for several patients during one surgical day. Double Pump Patient Cassette controls the outflow from an outflow cannula or a shaver handpiece. The patient cassette is changed between patients. Press the on standby button to initiate the automatic startup procedure. Press the soft key indicating start on either the left or right side of the display. Open the individual package using the aseptic technique. Wrap the Tyvek paper by pulling it towards yourself. Remove the cassette and close all three clamps. Remove the cap from one of the spikes and connect it to a sterile saline bag. The set also consists of a secondary spike, which can be used to prepare another bag. Push the cassette tubing loop completely over the left pump wheel and push the cassette firmly in place. The cassette should snap in place with the click sound. Make sure the cassette is correctly positioned by pressing each corner. The yellow indicator light will flash when the double pump day cassette is correctly positioned in the pump. Close the front cover and push the day cassette button on the pump to finalize the loading procedure. A constant yellow light will indicate that the day cassette is ready to use. Day set loaded is shown on the display and a click sound is heard. Open the clamp for the primary saline bag. Open the double pump patient cassette package using the aseptic technique. The package contains one irrigation tube on the top and the patient cassette. Remove the irrigation tube and the patient cassette from the package and place them on the sterile table. The irrigation tube is also available as a standalone product, double pump single. Check that the transparent lure lock connection between the tubing and the valve is tight. Close the red clamp on the irrigation tube and hand over the proximal end of the tubing to the non-sterile operator. Remove the blue cap from the irrigation tube and connect the blue swivel connector to the transparent female lure lock connector on the distal end of the double pump day cassette. Open the white clamp near the double pump day cassette. The sterile nurse can control the flow from the pump with the red clamp. The patient cassette consists of a cassette house and three tubes, shaver, outflow cannula, and waste, all individually wrapped in paper dressing for easy handling. Hand over the cassette house and the waste tube to the non-sterile operator. Push the cassette tubing loop completely over the right pump wheel and push the cassette firmly in place. The cassette should snap in place with a click sound. Make sure the cassette is correctly positioned by pressing each corner. The yellow indicator light will flash when the patient cassette is correctly positioned in the pump. Connect the tube marked Waste to the waste collection container. Close the front cover and push the patient cassette button on the pump to finalize the loading procedure. A constant yellow light will indicate that the patient cassette is ready to use. Patient set loaded is shown on the display and a click sound is heard. Connect the outflow tube to the cannula and the shaver tube to the shaver handpiece. If a shaver is not used, the tube can remain disconnected.
double pump is preset with default pressure and flow settings. Choose joint with the soft key arrow buttons on the left side of the display. The display shows the preset pressure and flow values for the selected joint. Double pump is now ready to operate, which is indicated by the flashing run stop button. Now you can either choose to prime the system or go into run mode directly by pressing the run stop button on the touchpad. Priming is normally not needed. To stop double pump, press the run stop button on the touchpad. When the flow is stopped, pressing the soft key will return to the joint selection menu. To start double pump again, press the run stop button. At any time during the procedure, the pressure and flow settings can be manually adjusted. The pressure setting can be adjusted with the pressure increase decrease buttons. The flow setting can be adjusted with the flow increase decrease buttons. Stop the pump and close all clamps on the cassette tubing. If the cassette loading screen is not visible on the display, push either the day cassette or patient cassette button on the touchpad. Press the patient cassette or day cassette button. The yellow lamp beside the button starts to flash. Remove the cassette from the pump by unlatching the cassette with the lever and pulling the cassette toward the latch and away from the pump. Discharge using normal hospital procedure. The double pump day cassette can be used for several patients during one surgical day due to the microorganism barrier in the irrigation tube valve. Disconnect the irrigation tube near the one-way valve, leaving the used one-way valve attached to the double pump day cassette until the next operation. The valve from the old irrigation tube connected to the double pump day cassette is removed. The proximal end of the new irrigation tube is then connected to the double pump day cassette. The major advantage of double pump over any other pump on the market is the unique and patented smart vision function. It analyzes substances influencing the visibility during the procedure and, based on findings, automatically optimizes pressure and flow accordingly. Thereby, double pump will run on pressure flow levels which are dynamically optimized throughout the procedure. This means that the surgeon can focus on his patient, which results in a shorter and safer procedure. If blood is detected, Smart Vision will automatically increase both pressure and flow until the bleeding stops. If debris is detected, Smart Vision will automatically increase the flow until the debris is flushed away. When the vision in the joint is clear, the Smart Vision function will gradually reduce the pressure and flow until the default levels are reached. This feature can be turned on and off with the Smart Vision button. The outflow tracking ensures that the same amount of fluid gets in and out of the joint at any given moment. It assists in keeping the joint distented when adjusting outflow rapidly. For example, when using rinse lavage mode or when using a shaver. When outflow tracking is activated, double pump will focus on keeping the joint volume constant, which can have a decreasing effect on the pressure, especially when operating with low flow. In order to get the most out of this function, it is suggested that a high flow sheath is used. This feature can be turned on and off with the Outflow Tracking button. Displays true intra-articular pressure based on patented algorithms. Unique and patented smart vision function for shorter and safer procedures. When joint volume is prioritized, Outflow Tracking can be activated connects to most shavers on the market. Robust and easy to use cassette technology.